Welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. It's time for this chapter's intermission! Yeah, he's probably dead by now, sir. Guys, guys, you ha haven't heard the news! His big mech was destroyed! Haha! <laughs> Yeah, it was basically handed to us. <laughs> he laid a beating on us. On everything. He's just a stain on the floor now, sir! Oh, they already have a star. <gasps> Uh-oh. So clearly, you know, the final star is going to be at their base, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's the way it kind of was in Super Mario RPG. The final star was at Smithy's Castle. I bet you anything, that star is actually hiding in that dude's helmet right now. It's actually his jock strap. Ah! Uh, Alright, water boy Mario, go ahead, clean up after the jocks. And it's time for another episode of Perverted Computers, starring Princess Peach. <laughs> you know, Peach, I ask myself these questions during coronavirus. <laughs> Will I ever be able to do anything I'd like to do ever again? She's on lockdown like the rest of us. That's true. Oh, not this again. Yeah, well, you know. You tricked me. This is secretly a weeb game, and you got me to play it with you. If it was a weeb game, we'd be on the other side of the, the bath right now. <laughs> I mean, we, we have enough steam for the occasion, so... There's mirrors all over the place. You can adjust the camera whenever you want to. And of course, you have digital 1080p video of every conceivable angle. Of these paper people. So you gotta pay big bucks for those. All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me throw down some cash for the DLC. Peach needs to have more personality, like she had, like in the manga and shit, and like in games like this. I yeah, I imagine her changing her hair like all the time. Like every time you take a shower, it would be like. Actually, last time it was short hair. This time it's pigtails. Next time she's yeah. got a mohawk. I think that would be kind of funny. Like, she's finding ways to entertain herself, so she just messes with her hair all the time. She's trying new looks! It's like, maybe pink isn't my color. Maybe I should, you know, dye my hair a darker blonde. <laughs> oh my god. She, she puts on a red dress, and somewhere off in the distance, Pauline goes, What the fuck? I mean, I'm a princess of people who don't even have hair. I think I uh, deserve <laughs> to have the hair the way I want. She starts to wear hats all the time, just to, you know, just to be one with her people. So what is this regret you have? Oh, there we go. There's some attitude. This episode, what is dance? <laughs> All of a sudden, the monitor starts to form into a body. And all the of a sudden, it starts to reach out. He becomes Metaton. Or moves. <laughs> Here we go. Allow me to show you my android. What? I have created a hologram. It does terrible things when you're not in the room. Alright, you know, whatever. I mean, hey, not no much I can do now. I have analyzed every movement. Ew, it's mirroring. So, so we're gonna dance with ourselves. Ah! 
I'll lead. Uh, Shit. <laughs> to, to, yeah. I would love yeah. it if whenever you mess up a yeah. button, your hologram self throws you across the room. It's like, oh, there's a dance move. <laughs> is this really happening? Yeah, this is really happening. <laughs> We're dancing with ourselves to, sh to teach a computer what it is to dance. <laughs> but how is the hologram, like, adjusting to the movements? Uh, unless it's, it it's is a, a mirror. It's an extension of himself. He's basically copying her moves, essentially. It's weird, though. What is fun? <laughs> so now we're gonna go send Mario another email. You know, what if tech is actually a reflection on modern gaming? So when he actually says what is fun, he's actually talking about current games? Nah, if, he, if tech was modern games, he would have charged us five ninety nine to send a message. Get the new on Prince sale from the usual nineteen ninety nine. Get the new Princess Peach Dance DLC, twelve ninety nine. I got that's right, I gotta buy other hairstyles. Fuck. Damn it. But it's all cosmetic. Right? Oh, well, that was about a about a five on the uncomfortable scale. Let's get the sucker all the way to ten. Oh wait! Oh, uh, yeah! It's our boy Bowser. Oh, boy! <laughs> we're so far ahead of this guy. We're going ahead to chapter three. He's still stuck in chapter one. You know, I'd actually like to see Bowser try it. Like, he goes and talks to Hooktail, and he's like, "Hey, I'm I'm sorry, man. I, I really can't deal with people right now." And Bowser's like, "All right, I won." Actually, I think it more like, uh, "Hey, let me guess. Uh, some guy in a red hat came and stomped <gasps> on you." Yeah. Yeah. It what? Well, now we got some oh! side scrolling action with Bowser. Yes. I enjoy he eats this. meat, and he gets I, bigger. Oh. Don't eat that mushroom like that pansy Mario. Wow. Oh, and you can yeah. Just, oh, you can destroy everything. Boom. You know, if Princess Peach gets her own game like this, I think Bowser definitely deserves a full game like this as well. I mean, Captain he, Fucking Toad. Whoa. T just a cathartic platformer that he can, you know, get puzzles around. I, I mean, if you want to get technical, uh, he kind of had his own game in Bowser's Inside Story, but that was still a Mario and Luigi game. Yeah, because the first th the first three words in the title of the game are Mario and Luigi. I'd be down for a Bowser game. Okay, I actually thought they were going to be just nonchalant. Like, all the Koopas in Petalburg just don't care. Oh, uh, hello, Bowser. Uh, welcome to Bowser! Yikes! Goes to Saturday morning cartoon territory. His eyes pop out of his head. Wah! Oh, look, it's Peach! She's right in there. Oh, I guess she was in Petalburg all along. We just didn't look hard enough. Uh, the strong silent type. <laughs> he actually said it. This has on a new nuance to Bowser's obsession. Is it his own, or is he just being fed these lies by other people in his troop? Well, no matter what the result, he still doesn't know the difference between a photograph and the real thing. <laughs> Dude. Dude, if you're putting waifu posters on the outside of your house... My weeb man, he's got some balls.
come on. Well, technically it's a real person. Because, you know, she, like, exists in the world, so... Well, I guess it would be, like, a celebrity poster or something like that. Yeah. You know, like if I had photos of Margaret Thatcher all over my wall. <laughs> like, he walks by his house every day, just looks at Peach's poster and goes, Yes, Queen! Well, goodbye, little ponies! Thanks for being an annoying gameplay mechanic for one chapter. Real nice of you. And for the record, not as bad as Pikmin. Mostly. You know, I'm thinking the village elder kind of reminds me of uh, the grandmother from Majora's Mask, where she literally talks you through a day's worth of time. <laughs> she does! That's what she does! Her, her lectures literally take hours. <laughs> That's how Bowser made it to Petalburg before we actually got to the legit Chapter 3. That little bug can talk. <laughs> jabber, 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 jabber. Continue. Well, you know the queue. Gotta head back to Rogueport. Figure out where to go next. Uh, yeah, so now we need to go to... Oh, well. Oh, wait. I think I just got Princess Peach's email. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me, uh, but please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. Fiends who kidnap me are searching desperately for the Crystal Stars. Mm -hmm. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything okay. You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. Aw. Mm. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon, Princess Peach. Aw, I dig that. Anyway, let's go ahead and fuck around in a sewer for a bit. Okay. Yeah, we need to take it back to the to the platform or whatever. Oh, oh my god. Not good. Doc! I hate these things. Shit. I've you made know, an effort not to run yet. I haven't run from a battle yet. I, I was about to mention, you haven't ran. Hmm. Maybe because I'm just that brave. As you tank a hit right in front of your new friend. I can take f uh! It's like, hey, Coops, check this out. Pff, uh! Oh, wow, you want my band-aid? <laughs> yeah, Mario. Oh, God, there's still a plant there. Get, get, get over here. Just, we hit you. We hit you. I, I, I think we you can just move on. Get! And you got him still. All right. Sell for the EXP so we can get more cool stuff and last longer and be better. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. You're gonna watch me beat this plant again! I still like the idea that Mario is just... He's trying to show them, like, true bravery is taking a hit for your friends. Which is why he's always up front taking the hits for his friends. Yeah, and Goombella, who I always put in the front lines, like, yeah, right, Mario. <laughs> well, she's got a hard hat on. She can take hits. Well, yeah, that's true. She's got armor, unlike the rest of us. Like, well, what, do, what do you got? A shell? Oh, I guess that's good armor. Uh, uh, shit. Also, she's been here since the beginning, so she knows what she signed up for. Even Flurry has an accessory that boosts her charm by ten. Her and necklace, she, I mean. And she's already naturally charming. What was uh, that? I'm, I'm rushing! I'm rushing! Look. What was that? Minor okay, quick lean. hammer! Let's go! Let's speed this up! It's yeah! Just, yeah, okay. There we go. You, fall! You, fall! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I saw it coming! And that is how we do tech. That's how you level up. Alright, let us go for... Let me think. I think we'll go for BP this time. Okay. Get some extra cool stuff up in here. Hey, uh, I just realized Goombella has 20 hit points, I think, if I read that right. Coop yes. still has 10. Yes. Uh, maybe I just wasn't paying attention close enough, but whenever you level up, the party member you have equipped, do they get that HP boost when you do? Or do they... we have to power them up somewhere else? This is just me not paying attention, sorry. When Mario levels up, that's what that is. Only he levels up. We have to go back to that guy with the shine sprites to power that's up it. our allies, that's which we it. will be doing. Okay, it's been a while, my bad. That's fine, that's fine. 
Back to the sewer level. Here we yeah. go. This labyrinthine, ridiculous fucking hub world. We're gonna. Uh oh, it's been a couple days. Does UDJ <laughs> still know where everything is? Nope. <laughs> I think I can answer that for everybody. Because I certainly don't. Because he certainly went the wrong way. Mm hmm. And there it is. What I'm also thinking is that I know I'm going to go to back to Professor Frankly, and I'm going to talk to him so we can figure out where we go next. Wait a minute. He's not going to do that. He's going to tell me just to go right back to where I was to do the Thousand Year Door. So let's do that first. <laughs> so I at least there was a thought process of me getting lost there. I, I like how you can recount what you were thinking <laughs> as you're going through the footage. This, ga this game is uh, very good moment to moment. I mean, a lot of moments stick in your mind. Like, yes, I did indeed get lost at this part. Please enjoy the ride. Eh. I forget all my successes, but I remember all my failures, I'll tell you that much. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Come on out here, Flurry. Blow on this wall. Uh, uh maybe I need to... But blow, blow on this wall. There we go! Hey! It's a happy heart pee! So my ally can restore health in battle as well. Oh, that's perfect for when they're out in the front lines. Goombella, you want a prize? As long as I have that uh, badge equipped, it's for anybody. Ooh. You know, we haven't uh, given this place a whole look around yet. There's a trampoline here. Where does this go? Oh! Leads to a airplane. Turns out it just takes you to the middle platform faster. It takes us to another trampoline over here at the other end of the room. With mm -hmm. the sir, uh, it's a shine sprite! Hey! It's it, it, it's a shine sprite! There we go. You did it. Oh, you didn't go through the door. We'll do that next time. Okay. For now, we gotta figure out where this next place is. It tells you to go to the x knots territory. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where the other four crystal stars are either, so here you go. Uh, line? Oh, there we go. Please get page two to figure out where the next star is. Oh, man. Oh, God damn it. Three ninety nine for the next piece of DLC. Ooh, these stars have been pretty close to each other. Chomp Rock. Hmm. See the sky. Hmm. Hmm. I can't read. It means it's up in the sky, Flurry. That means get the flying cloud, lady. Beneath this town, a thousand year old remains. Oh, good, we fast traveled. I'm not asking about the stars. I'm asking about what's up in the sky. Wait, why did we need to know that again? We knew that. <laughs> I just realized the professor might have a little bit of a uh, disorder where as soon as a new person shows up, he thinks it's the first time he's seen the other people, too. Skulls. But but what about the city? Where's the? I don't need to know about a big cataclysm. Not yet. Let me get six crystal stars and then we can talk about it. Uh, 
There hey, we go. There you Glitzville. go. Glitzville. Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh. Warriors? Hmm. Oh, no way. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Steal it. You're telling me Ticketmaster doesn't exist over here at Rogueport? Hmm. You're telling me that Ticketmaster is too good for Rogueport? <laughs> Don Pianta, hell yeah! We gotta go through the underground mafia channels if you want to get in the sky. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good! We just have to make him an offer he can't refuse. Alright, well, uh, before we get to really, uh, getting into, get, you know, uh, the, a blimp ticket, let's do a few things around town first. First off, let's go ahead and upgrade, uh, let's go with Coops, because Coops only has 10 HP and Flurry has 15. But she's got a bit of a different repertoire of spells, so we'll give the upgrade to, uh, Coops this time. Hey Mario, is this gonna hurt? Shut up, Coops. A lot! Ah, the star power! Uh, sorry, the shine power. <laughs> oh my god, I feel the power of three suns inside of me! <laughs> I'm an unstoppable god! He went for a big old hug on that one. It's just like, yes! So let's go ahead and take this guy out. We're more than well equipped to take him out now, especially with Coops being the way he is. Are we? Oh yeah. Okay. We already tattle on him, so we got that. Let's go ahead and just go all out because there's still an inn literally down the way. Yeah, let's mash this guy up. Come on, Coops! Wow. Show me your power! Nice! Wow! Block it? Ow. Okay, that, that wasn't blocking it, but... You know, whatever. We got a good oh. offense going on. Yeah, yeah, this guy's nothing. He's he's out. Four. Especially good if we get... Lord. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> oh man, you had my hopes up. I was like, oh man, everything's going right in this scenario. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, one more turn and he's out. Yeah! Holy crap. Finish him off, Coops! It's all you! Alright, well, we'll get him next time! And... One, two, three... Yeah. Good night. Whoa! That is 18 points. Well, yeah, I mean, it kind of solved this problem. So we can turn thin and go through what? here. What? I never would have thought of that! That's so cool! Another mouse thief. Well, yeah, that's all they did in Yoshi's Island. They kept stealing my eggs. Whoa. So, this is the leader of the gangs on the east side of town. Ooh. We got, like, the Thieves' Guild over here, mm -hmm. and we got the Sopranos over on the, the <laughs> west side. Wow, I didn't think Mario was a habitual liar. Sixty-four coins. Only sixty-four coins? Alright, fine, here. Yeah, 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 fine. W whatever, we can make money. We're, we're good with that. We're gonna make a lot of money in the next chapter anyway. We'll be fine. Don't worry. I wonder if this is one of those scenarios where if you say no the first time, he lowers the coin amount. Probably, but hey, I've got deep pockets. Don't you forget that, Roach Boy. <laughs> 
So we gotta buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Hmm. And then when we do that, the shopkeeper is gonna ask what our favorite color is. Yellow. Oh my god, this game has code! Yellow is a password for getting into Don Scumbag's also comfy office. So. Wow! Gotta go to the shop on the west side. Gotta get a dried shroom. A, di a, a diz dizzy dial. A dizzy dial. And her favorite and color was... Yellow. Yellow. You remember that, right? Who are what you? Are here? Side quests I'll probably never, ever, 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 ever do. Why not? Well, maybe I'll do a couple, but... I got story to do, man. <laughs> Help! My dog ran away. And he's also not a dog. He is a child. Also, I don't have kids. I, I'm just lonely, man. Hi, my name's Craig. This is my list. People use my list to tell me what they need. So, we got with all, all this stuff here. My god! No, no, I'm not dealing with that. No, wow. thank you. Like, maybe a couple here and there, but that's... No, we got stuff to do. We got terrorists going after the fucking dragon uh, crystal stars. Now, uh, I am curious. Is there a reward for finishing all side quests? Probably. Hmm. If not the reward in just, you know, finishing them all based on that. Pure satisfaction, that's all I need. It can't be that hazardous. He's, he's probably an upstanding guy, as long as I show respect. Yeah, hey, respect in the ways of breaking your legs. Hey! It's Luigi! We'll go talk to him after we, uh, heal from that battle there. Anything going on in the bar? Probably not. <laughs> Except bar shenanigans. I can actually see one of those mice smashing that bomb bomb over the head with a bottle, and then the entire place blows up because you hit a bomb. I wake up and the place is in ruins. <laughs> There's no roof. There's barely a second floor. Toadsworth is grasping at a wound on his chest. Mario, you'll never believe what happened. Now they're too sad to drink. They're to fight. Alright, pop on back to Goombella here because I'm biased. And oh hey, look at this guy. This guy has rare items for sale. Every so often, he uh, sells oh. new stuff. That's way too much. <laughs> Dang. Ah, oh, repel cape. A stopwatch. Huh. Go ahead and buy a repel cape just to say we bought something. We'll talk to him uh, every so often from time to time. Hmm. So, uh, about that Luigi. She Luigi. still won't let us to the west side of town. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she's really mad that we stepped on her contact lens. There is a way that we're supposed to take care of that. Oh, hey, look, this new limited edition item, a contact lens for the low, low price of free. We were supposed to talk to that guy. Which guy? The shopkeeper. Right. We were supposed to talk to him and... See, I thought they just had a contact lens just for sale there. But you gotta talk to him, he's gonna have it specially made. Oh. So, we're just gonna piss about for the remainder of the time here, so uh, if you just wanna skip the next episode and not worry about what Luigi has to say, that's fine. So, uh... But it's Luigi. Luigi's yeah, important. To... Well, uh, maybe important to some people, but maybe not to others, but, uh... No, no. Know, if you don't think Luigi's everything. important, you're wrong. Okay, hey, Luigi. Uh, went to Rumble Bum and got a marvelous compass piece, huh? Oh, boy. Time for another rambling story. Let's do it! 
<clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Rumble Bump Volcano. Well, like I said before, it's a really strong story. Here it goes. Says my ship docked and putting up uh, to reach my destination. Scary beasts were all over more than once. I thought it was Luigi done for. Luigi is the reason you play through Mario would Galaxy have, One. One hundred percent. He found me. I went to town. Blue was journey of his own. He told me I had to hear my tale. Now Blue is Why bad. doesn't he have his own game? Oh, torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place is all about bubbling lava pools and heat that made the sun sweat. And the place is lousy with evil trapped inside protected for comfort peace. Scary one of all was a gigantic hundred foot tall statue that sopped around. And the weakness of the giant statue was a red gem in its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Blue to hit the I spot. actually yawned while listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, if there was a reward for getting 100% in this game, and you get to play Luigi's Adventure as, like, kind of a, like a side story, that would be awesome! So, uh... And then it's over. What's your story, White Torpedo? Hi, I'm Blue. <laughs> <laughs> can imagine. Okay, Bluey, let's -a go. Right. Ha ah! oh Luigi, you let me down. Ah! Uh, Luigi fabricated that entire story. Oh my god. Where <laughs> he left out details. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Smells, you smell Flurry's perfume from my pocket? Huh, so, uh... Whoa, uh, is it this? <laughs> Please don't blow the rat. It's not nice. Well, uh... Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we'll go ahead and grab a contact lens, make our way westward, and make our way skyward. We'll see you next time. <laughs>